Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I lift up your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Welcome once again. I am going to talk to you the subject called Deliverance of Inheritance, Rejection and Gen Generational Rejection. They are the powers called Inheritance, Rejection and Generational Rejection. This rejection, Inheritance, they are not alone. They are not alone. So that's why I want to talk to you so that you can know what to do if you are rejected, if you are inheriting the rejection, they are a family who have, uh, they are the family, uh, this family could be they were poor or they were just uh, nobody. And then because of that, you find that the third family is being rejected. Nobody recognizes that family. Oh, they, there were some things they did. So because of what they did, it makes them, they are being rejected. If you look at the back, back from your father, your mother, your, your, your forefathers, you might find that everybody, they never, nobody liked them. There were people who were rejected and, and there the, 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 the people who were really, they, they were not recognized in the, in the community, in the society. Some, sometimes, even if there's parties in a, in a place, like you have, you have in, the, in the village, there's some ceremonies, there's parties. So when they are invited, them, they are excluding, they, they, they are not being invited. Even when there's uh, visitors in the family, them, they cannot even allow to see these visitors. They don't, they, they are not allowed to come that, in that home. So you find that this, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is in the bloodline. It's a, it's a, it's a rejection. It's from the forefathers. It's rejected. It's from, uh, from your family. It's your family background. Now, and then as you grow up, you help them do. When you are inheriting that rejection, then even marriage, it is a problem. Anything you do, it is a problem. Everybody just rejected reject you because you have you have you have you have inherited that spirit that was attack, affecting your family, your forefathers. Because of that, and then you wonder, you think, you think, what what did I do wrong? What did I do? And this one, it is not witchcraft. This one, it doesn't have anything to do with the witchcraft. It is inheritant. You inherit it from your forefathers, your ancestors, from your ancestors. So now, when it comes, it's, the same, it's almost the same generational. It is from first, second, third, and fifth, up to 40 generation. That things has been affecting the generation on coming up to, that, up to this time. But we thank God. We thank God that God is wonderful and marvelous God who is so good, who is loving God, who will never let his children to live in those bondage, in the bondage of inheritance and generational rejection. So God, God who loves us so much, he, he, brought, he, he brought his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die and take away every inheritance rejection. Jesus was rejected. The Bible says he was rejected. Jesus was accused. Yes. But now, you see, because Jesus, God loves us, he has provided a way out. And I'm going to read from the book of, 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 of Luke 10, verse 16. Now, here is the condition. The Bible, Jesus, Jesus himself is, seek, is giving you free choice to, to come out from that inheritance rejection or generational rejection. He said in the book of Luke 10 verse 16, the Bible says, The one who hears you, hears me. And the one who rejects you, rejects me. And the one who rejects me, 
rejects him who sent me. So here, he said that if anyone hears Jesus Christ, if anyone like us now, we are representing of Jesus Christ. We are representing of God. Now, if you listen to us, it will go well with us. If you reject us, you reject Jesus Christ. If you reject the word of God that is coming from us, you are not rejecting Christine. You are not rejecting me. You are rejecting God himself. So now, uh, Jesus he has given us open door, open opportunity, you to either to reject or to receive it. So, but because some people, they have that spirit of rejection. So now they, they reject everything. Even if you tell them anything, everything, they, they reject it. They reject it. They don't accept anything. Because of that spirit, that they are, they are, their background, they have a problem with that. So they end up losing things. And these things, it follows them, even their children. Now it backfire. It backfire, you know, it go back and start tormenting them. It goes back and it started having troubles to themselves. So now, because God, as Jesus Christ, he, he came to deliver us and to set us free. The Bible says, if you hear the one who is, who is, who, who is speaking to preaching to you, the one who hears you, hears me. The one who hears you, the one who hears me. Jesus was telling his disciples, the one who hears you, hears me. And the one who rejects you, reject me. So Jesus said, if uh, there is a scripture in the book of Samuel, God was telling Samuel, Samuel, those people, they have rejected me, not you. Don't, don't worry, because they are rejecting me. They didn't reject you. It is they rejected me. So now, because of this spirit, the people are being uh, 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 having problem. The 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 people they are born with it. They inherited from their forefathers. It is extended to themselves. Now, when they feel like they are rejecting everything, everything you tell them, they reject. Yeah. So it is backfire. You have to be very careful. Don't let this spirit to backfire. You have been you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus said. Believe in him and everything will go well with you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 94, verse 14 to 15, the Bible says, For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. For judgment would again be right, would be righteous, righteous, and all the upright in heart would follow it. So God will never, never reject you. God Himself will never reject, will never abandon His inheritance, will never leave you alone. In the book of uh, uh, Psalms 27, the Bible says, Everybody will reject you, mother and father, and everybody. But God will never reject you. That's how the promise of God has promised you. But because people, they are still living in that inheritance. They have not brought the, the demon of, of inheritance or generational uh, rejection. Inheritance rejection or generational rejection. If, you have not been bro if it has not been broken, it will give you hard time. Even when you have been given opportunity, even when God has forgiven you, you are still under that, that curse of rejection. So you need to get somebody to break that rejection spirit, that rejection demon, that generational rejection that is, that is making you suffer. Yeah? You find yourself being rejected. You can be married. You have your husband, but you live in a different rooms. You have, you have, you have, you have, you, have, you, have, you have, at work everywhere you are being rejected. Nothing you can, you cannot have anybody to talk to. You find yourself being rejected. Everything you, you date a person, you agree to marry. You reach a place where you are almost because of that spirit of rejection, it rejects you. Like when, when you are people are being given something or a gift when it reaches your time, they reject you. They say it next time. When you, are, you apply your application, 
they give other people jobs. When it reaches your turn, they reject you. They say, next time, you didn't succeed. Even a test, even, ex even passing exam, you, you go to a test, you did very well, you, uh, you believe you passed this, but because of that demon is following you, it makes you, you are rejected. So everywhere you are being rejected. Uh, nothing in your family, watch your family. No one is doing good. Everything is, is not right. It's, it's going wrong, 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 wrong. So that spirit of rejection, inherited rejection, all generational rejection, it must be broken in Jesus' name. I cast them and I break them in, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the, tonight, I am coming to break those inherited rejection. It is, a, it is a very bad demon that makes people, even that's why you find many young people committing suicide. Because they, they see nothing, there is nothing. Nobody loves them, nobody knows, understands them, so they feel like they end their life. They, they, these demons has killed so many young people. If you look at the rent, the rest of young people are committing suicide. This is the demons, inherited rejection demon that is affecting them. That is the, 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 the generational demon. Now we will stand against this demon to put a stop from your life and your children, children, so that it cannot carry, it cannot continue in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. You look at the Romans, the book of Romans, Romans 11 verse 12, the Bible says, God did not reject his people whom he foreknew. Do you know, do you not know what the scripture says about Elijah, how he appeared to God against Israel? So God did not reject his people. God did not reject his people. Uh, that, this is, that is what the Bible says. God did not reject his people whom he foreknew. Do you know how what the scripture says about Elijah, how he appeared to God? So God, God did not reject. If God rejected us, he could not, he could not send his, his only son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. Jesus died for us so that we can help Jesus. So that this heritage, everything, rejection, Jesus can destroy it in the name of Jesus. So, because God loves us so much, that's why he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And that demon of rejection, they must go. If you recognize that you have demon of rejection, call me. I will pray and break them. You know, because you, you, are, you, you are 56 years, up to even 40, 56 years, nothing is working for you. Yeah? You can't, you can't have anything, you, are, you feel like you are being rejected. Especially I'm talking to people who are not married. You find that, why? Why is it these things is continue like this? Yeah? They, they, this is the spirit you need to look at it. You've been prayed for, you have been prayed, you are repenting, but there is a demon that is inherited, that is following you. It needs to be broken to pieces. It needs to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We have to stand against that demon. Because you go to church, Jesus has died for us. God did not reject us, but this demon is still continuing in our lives. So we have to reject it. We have to refuse it and curse it and bind it and, 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 and stop from operating in our life and our life and, and, the, our, and, the, and the children and the children of, and the life of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. This is why you see that. You, you get something, something you, you want to, to be happy with it in a few days, in a minute, because of that spirit it comes and they reject it. So you miss, you miss your breakthrough. Any time when you have to, the, the problem is any time when you are almost to get something good, such as that demon raises up, it rejects and you miss something. You, make your, you, you miss your breakthrough. I know uh, I used to be like that. Any time when I, I am at a people, even, even when they are praying in the church, you may see a prophet has come and is praying for people. You are running to go and be prayed for. When it's almost your time, they said, no, I'm tired. Uh, you come, come tomorrow or another time. Tomorrow is not there. <laughs> <laughs> that that I, I I noticed, but I didn't know because I didn't know this deliverance ministry. 
I didn't know before. So uh, I remember there was a pastor who was praying for people and he was laying hands and we, we were running. Now when we reached our, my, my time, he said, I is tired, come tomorrow. He never come and that was the time he was leaving. So I said, why not? Every time when something, everything, when it reaches my turn, I, I, I was told, no, come tomorrow. So tomorrow never come tomorrow. I, I, lose, I, I used to lose some very important stuff. So I said, what is this? But since I discovered this deliverance, I will never miss anything. Nobody, I will, I will say, God has not rejected me. And I, have, I know I've been set free. Any demon, anything, if it is a witch, I destroy you. Now, if, if it is a witchcraft, putting rejection spirit in me or sending rejection in me, I am sending fire and I destroy it in Jesus' name. So you have to know, if it is inherited and rejection or witchcraft rejection, witchcraft rejection, you will know it. It is different from inheritance. Inheritance it is the whole family. You look at your sister, your brothers, your sibling, you see all everybody is not doing well. That demon is operating the whole family. But the witchcraft you find maybe it's only you. Other, other people are doing good. That is witchcraft rejection. But when you know that all your people, your family are not are the same, then that is inherited rejection. And then you have to stand in the gap of your family to break them so that your family can, can, can be free. You can look at wherever they are married, maybe they are not married, you have aunts everywhere. So you know that is inherited rejection or a generational rejection. But when you see like, Two people of you in your family, you are you are having that problem, then you will know that is witchcraft. That is the difference. Now I pray that God Almighty will help you to destroy this inherited rejection. It is a bad because it is not alone. It has got so many stuff for accompanying. So I pray that God Almighty will destroy and bind out and, and cut them into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now let's look on the book of Psalm 66, verse 16 to 20. Psalm 66, verse 16 to 20. The Bible says, Come and hear all of you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and high praises was on my tongue. If I had chastened iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not have listened, but truly God has listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Be, blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his standfast love from, from me. So here, here is what Psalms 66 verse 16 to 20 is saying, that God never rejected his prayers. So God will never reject your prayers. When you pray, God will never reject your prayers. So check that scripture. Uh, that, that scripture, that God will never reject your prayers. So your prayers will never be rejected. As you will go to pray, you, you will pray that every generational inherited uh, rejection, I am commanding them to die. I break them. I destroy them from my life. I destroy them completely in the name of Jesus. I bind them and I lend them. I must be free in the mighty name of Jesus. I am I am speaking the word from the from my mouth. Look at this. Come and hear all of you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul. I cry to him with my mouth. So when you, you cry to him, when you pray with your own mouth, you speak the word because remember, you, when, you, when you speak the, the word, it will be established. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You open your mouth and you speak the word. You destroy the spirit of inheritance, uh, rejection in your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you you commanded to get out of your life and and let it go. That demon, you commanded them to die. Listen, some people they have problem. They think the demon does not die. That spirit, let me call it call that that the spirit. Even the spirit does not die. But let me tell you, the powers behind that inheritance. If they die, 
they cannot come back to you. That's why you have to command them to die or to go to the uh, bottomness of the bit where Jesus wants them to go. Because there is a spirit that wherever Jesus wants them to go, you command them to get out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I know that God will remove that demon from your life in Jesus' name. You cannot live with that, that demon of rejection because it cannot let you go. It cannot get you even to be married. It cannot let you even to have your children. Because it's a spirit. It's a demon. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God. You are so great, God. I want to thank you, Father. And I'm, I'm going to, to pray for you. I'm going to pray that God will set you free from this inherited demon in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Every evil foundation upon which your life has been built, I command them to receive deliverance by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to receive fire, to receive deliverance by fire in Jesus' name. Every evil foundation upon which your life has been built, I command them to receive deliverance by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank you. I want to give you the glory, Jesus. Every rejection that is older than you, but is affecting you, I command them to, I command them to release you and die in the name of Jesus. Every rejection that is older than you, but it's affecting you. Let it, let it release, release you and die in the name of Jesus. I am praying that God will deliver you any, any, any rejection that is older than you. They are older, which means they are, they, are, they are older like many, 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 many years ago. Many, many, many years. That has been in, in you. They are, it is old. So I command that is that is demon to release you and die and let it go back to the to, to where it, Jesus sent it to go. Inherited rejection, generational rejection, foundational rejection, following you about, I set you off in the name of Jesus. I command them to release you in Jesus' name. Yoke of corrective rejection affecting your life, break and, and, and die. In the name of Jesus, rejection in your, your in your generational, I I cut you off by the power in the blood of Jesus. I am praying that God will deliver you and destroy every rejection spirit, inherited rejection, inherited rejection, in in, 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 in foundational rejection, generational rejection. I break you into pieces. I break you to get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power of rejection operating in your life, operating in your family, operating in your children, let them be destroyed. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. You powers of, of rejection, get out of this person. Get out of this woman. Get out of this man. Go in the name of Jesus. I destroy you. I command you. I take authority and I cast you out of, of, of this person in the name of Jesus. I command you to go where Jesus wants you to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Start moving. Start walking out and leave this person. Get out. Out in the name of Jesus. Get out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord my Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray your dream life to, to, to receive fresh fire, to receive fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh revelation, and fresh fresh fire in Jesus' name. You will not be dreaming satanic dream, uh, uh, inherited dreams. You will be dreaming the dreams of moving forward, the dreams of God, not satanic dream, not witchcraft dream. I pray that your dream will receive fire, receive fresh anointed, receive fresh revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curses of rejection running in your family line, that as 
as our shadow you are your blessings i break by fire break by fire break by fire break by fire in the name of jesus break 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 every curses of rejection running in your family line i break them i break them i destroy them i bind them i render them powerless I, I i command them they will not manifest they will not function in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus you you curses of rejection running in this family I, I, I am talking to you now. I command you, get out of this family in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Miracles and promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Miracles and promotion in your name. Let it locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Miracles and miracles. Miracles that will promote your name. Locate you by fire. Miracles that will, will promote your name. Miracles that will promote your name. That, that, that your name has been rejected. Now I pray that the miracles to promote your name appear by fire. Appear by fire. Promote your name. Promote your name. Promote your family. So that they will see. The family they have been rejected. They will see them now. They, they are different and they will see their favor of God. I pray that you let the favor come upon your family. The, that family was rejected. They, they, they are known that this family of so and so. They, they are no good. No but even good marry from your family because they are rejecting they say this family is useless they, nobody they are they are useless you have been called useless now that promotion that miracle promotion that will fall with the favor it will it will promote your family and your family will be known and then they will be surprised and say what happened to this family in the mighty name of jesus i pray that god located this family in the name of Jesus, you know, you know how your family is. You you look at your sister, your brother, go back and look to your aunt, go back and look to your uncle, go back and look to your grandfather. You will see that these demons of rejection, if it is there or it's not there, and you will find out it, it, where it is. Maybe this generation was passed, but the second generation is having a terrible rejection. Everybody, where you, everybody is, it, that is the same problem. Now I pray that the name, the miracle and the, mir the miracle that will promote your name, the name of your family, appear in the name of Jesus. Let God of miracles change, the, the God who changed the story, let it appear and change your story in the mighty name of Jesus. And change the story of your family so that they can be called a blessed family. Now people will come to, for you, the people will come for, for, to see you when they have seen something good is coming. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, correct. Correct. That is good. <laughs> yes. I pray that the Father, Father Lord, bring back the really you. Let the Father God bring back the really you. The really you. That you, the original you. That you were made to be married, have children, and a husband. Husband will love you. Do you know you, you, you can be married, but you don't talk to your husband? Some people, they live together, but no talk. Someone is, and the husband is, live, is, is staying in the basement, and you are standing in the, and in the, main, in the main bed. The, the husband is waiting the children to be 18 years, and then he will run away. He doesn't talk. You cook your food, he cooks his food. That's what it is. That is a rejection. You try your best. You try to show him love. But because of that spirit, he doesn't see you. But before he looks like he loves you, then that demon, when he saw it, he, he moved in. And then he bring that rejection. So, so there is rejecting you completely. That is, an, a, a, there, there is a witchcraft. I say this spirit, the husband, spirit, wife. When you are the only one who with that issues, then you know that is spirit, the husband, not spirit, the wife. But if you see all your families like that, that is inherited a rejection. So you have to fight that demon to get out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You, 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 feel, you feel like why I, everything is against you like this. It's because of these powers of rejection following you. I pray that God will, will help you. Let the multiplication anointing graduate to expose anointing in your life in the name of Jesus. In the gratitude, yes. Let the multiplication anointing gratitude.
to explosion and anointing in your life in Jesus' name. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I come, I come out, come out of every satanic prison in Jesus' name. By the power in the blood of Jesus, come out of, of, of every satanic prison in Jesus' name. Every satanic prison. I command you to come out. Some people, they are in prison, they think that they are out, but they are in prison. The enemy has put you in prison and tying you, tying you, you can't even move. You, you are, you, as a lady was calling me from states, I think. She was telling me that she's afraid of everything. She can't go even out. She doesn't like the crowd. She doesn't, she doesn't want anything. She just want to stay in the house and she fear. Then when I was asking her, I was interviewing her, asking her, are you the only one that is having that problem? She said, no, even my, my, my mother, even a mother, if the whole family is like that, I said, okay, that is a thief called, uh, has come uh, inherited demons. That is affecting you, the whole family like that. So you have to come against that, these demons to break them so that you can be free. You can be a point of contact with your family to help your family, to save your family. Through you, your family can be saved. Remember, uh, Moses said, me and my family will be saved. So it is true. You, you will make your family to be saved. Your family has been suffered. They don't, maybe, they rejected God. They don't know uh, God. But through you, you can make them to go to heaven. You can make them to, to, to get to be free from this bondage. So that your children and children, children will be free from this demon of rejection. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You shall see the end of today, today, today. Not not see the end of, of, of you in the end, in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, you will see this power. It is midnight today as, as we are jumping to the new day. You will see these powers manifest as I pray for you. And these demons of, 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 of rejection, inherit and rejection, as I, I will pray for you, I will break, break it and you will be free. And when you are free, you will set your, your family will be free also. If you need me to pray for you, call me. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I want to give you all the glory, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Our number... Is six four seven six zero eight five two zero seven. Call me. I will break that uh, 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 demon of rejection. It is a demon that needs to be broken. If you cannot break that demon, you can't go free. So I pray that God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Inheritance rejection demon. It is a demon that has been there years and years. That has come to affect you. It did not come yesterday. It was there even before Jesus was born. Even after Jesus has paid the price, it is so rebellious. It doesn't want to go. After even Jesus has gone to the cross and paid for it, but still it doesn't want to go. It needs somebody like me to stand against it and break it. <laughs> That's how it is. Jesus has paid the price, but the, the, this demon does not, does not want to leave you. Does not want to go. It's very stubborn. And you know it is affecting not even the people of the world. It is affecting the children of God who are in the church. That is serious. Disrespecting you. That demon, it is disrespecting you. They don't care about your Jesus. They make you reject them. Even, even at the church. There was a lady. She was in the church. It was so bad. Everywhere. Even the church rejected her. So that was so bad. You, are, you have seen even your church, even when you go there, nobody wants to become close to you. When you try to go close to people, people, they excuse themselves. So you leave, you have, you have left alone. Or you find yourself talking by yourself. You talk with somebody, immediately when you are talking with the person, the person disappear. So you wonder what happened. Did I say something wrong? Did I say something bad? Then you, you end up being hurt. You, you hurt yourself. You, went, you end up being hurt so much. When you reach home, you are being upset. You feel so bad. You don't know what, what you have done. 
it is inherited rejection demon that is operating in you. Don't kill anybody. Don't be uh, angry with the people. You deal with yourself. You will be free. When that demon has been destroyed, then you will, you will see people, many people will come to you and they want to talk to you, like you, love you. But as long as you are carrying that demon, nobody will love you. So you will continue to hurt yourself. You, you develop uh, depressed. You, 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 be, you, hurt, you, you become very bitter with everybody because that, that, that demon is not alone. He knows that if I if I inject you with this, he will come with bitterness, he will come with loneliness, you will bam, you will start fighting everybody because it makes you mad. You say why? Why? Then you start blaming people, you start blaming people, but you don't know that that is a demon of rejection operating against you. So you started blaming people, you started cursing people, and that is what the demon wants. They want that. It was when you, you feel bad, you feel mad on you, then you start cursing. When you start using those words, then it will come with the evil, strong one to operate and torment you more and more. You know you are, in, you are still in the church. You corrected another spirit from the church. So when you have this, you find yourself that you, you are miserable now. You are miserable. You are not even, you are, you are, you are, you are, you, the way you live, in a spiritual world, you are not even a Christian, non-Christian. The, 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 Christian, the non-Christian, they live better than you who is in the church. That's why you find uh, even witchcraft, they get access to the church and they, they witch you and they go free. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You know, do you know that? When you, are, you have that demon of rejection, anything can get you. And even witchcraft, when they practice their witches, it will catch you. Because you, you yourself, you feel bad, you hurt yourself. You, feel, you, are, you are so hurt, you, you feel very bad, you feel very bitter. And you know, bitterness, that is sin. The devil is looking that you, you, you to, be, to, to, to find you with sins, so that he can bring all evil to come to you. And you have no idea. You don't know the problem that you are facing. It is that demon. If you get the lead of that demon, then other things you, you will deal with them easily. I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you that strong man of rejection in the life of this person, I destroy you, I bind you, I render you powerless, I curse you, I command you to get out of the, li of the life of this person in the mighty name of Jesus. I render you powerless. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out, out, out in the name of Jesus. I bind you. I curse you. I render you powerless. You will not manifest in the life of this person in Jesus' name. You demon that is operating in this life for a long time. Your time is up. I curse you now. I command you to get out in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Call me. I will pray with you. I will break that demons, that is the powers of rejection that has been affecting your life and your family in Jesus' name. I call me, my number is 647-608-5207. And we have our landline, 877-241-3423. Uh, uh, call me. Or another number, if this number is engaged or it's not working, another number is 905-487. 7196. God bless you. I stop here. See you tomorrow, the same time, midnight. This is your host, Prophetess, Dr. Christine Isigi, saying bye bye. Bye bye to you. See you. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca, or you can email us, overcomersdhm at gmail.com overcomers dhm at gmail.com that is our email and you can go to our website all information the videos are there it is going to press you there is a lot of videos that you, it can help you free there is a lot of materials a lot of teaching that God will help you in the name of Jesus go to our website once again and God will help you now people have started calling me, and still I'm, I'm, I'm still on the line. Listen, I'm telling you that God loves you. 
God loves you and I'm here to help you. I am here to break these powers that has been affecting you for a long time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, fellow mad. God bless you. Have a wonderful time, night, morning, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, fellow mad. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.